This is the reminder move for ATM lesson number 269, Hip Joints by the Way of Lengthening, a Continuation. So please lie on your back with both arms on either side of your body and gently scan yourself for spaces in which your body lifts away from the floor or where your body presses down into the floor. Now when you get a good idea of how you actually come into contact or move away from the ground, extend both of your arms up above your head with the back of your hand on the ground. Make sure that your arms and your shoulders are comfortable and can lay com comfortably and easily on the floor. Spread your arms and your feet comfortably wide. Stand your right foot and extend your left leg to the side and allow it to roll outward towards its outside edge. And since this is a continuation, we're going to take all of the principles and all of the movements that we used from the last lesson and put them into play and begin to sophisticate the motion and the movements even more. So with your left leg rolled towards the outside, gently lift your left leg up into the air and begin to make circles with your heel. And then change direction of the circles. Now keep your, keep your leg in the air about a foot and a half or so off the ground, not real high, and notice that your right hip lifts up off of the floor. And do something funny and begin to move your pelvis in a way that your hip will come back down to the ground and then let that hip come up and away. So don't necessarily lift and lower your leg. The movement comes from the waist, your pelvis, and your hip. And then begin to do this movement a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, and then leave it alone and let yourself rest. And again, extend both of your arms up above the head with the back of your hands on the ground. Spread your feet and your arms comfortably wide. And stand your left foot and extend your right leg out to the side and roll it towards its outside edge. And again, lift your whole entire right leg into the air and begin to make circles with your heel. And change that direction. Now keep your leg up in the air, about a foot and a half or so, and notice that your opposite hip lifts up off of the ground. And begin to move your pelvis in a way that it'll pull your hip back down towards the floor. And again, you don't lift and lower your leg, but the movement comes from allowing your uh, left hip to come down towards the ground and then allow it to come up. And then again, move this a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. and then leave this alone and let yourself rest. And again, take both of your arms up above your head with the backs of your hands on the ground, bend both of your knees, have your feet flat on the floor, and allow your legs to fall outward so the soles of your feet are touching. And begin inhaling, arch your back, and press your tailbone down into the floor while keeping your knees spread apart. And repeat this movement over and over again, easy, soft, allowing your lower back to lift up away from the ground and your pelvis to tilt forward. And then leave this alone for just a moment and begin to do circles with your pelvis in a clockwise direction and then in a counterclockwise direction. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now put both of your arms and your hands back up above your head on the ground, the backs of your hands on the floor. Then both of your knees have your feet flat down on the floor, and again allow your legs to fall outwards the soles of your feet are touching. 
and make sure it's about halfway from where your legs are long, keeping your feet together, and when your heels are up towards your rear. And begin lifting your right leg slightly up off of the floor, your whole entire leg as a unit, and then set it back down. And just a few times on the right, rest for a moment, and then begin lifting your left leg slightly up off of the floor. And try and make it as easy and slow and as smooth and as comfortable as you can so there's an even distribution of effort across your whole entire left leg. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. And go ahead and put both of your arms up above your head again. Backs of your hands are on the ground. Allow your legs to fall outwards. And now begin sliding your right knee away from your center. Just as you were doing before in the previous lesson and in the beginning of this lesson, sliding your leg as long as you can, taking your right knee away from the center of your body, and then allow it to come back. Away from the center of your body, and then allow it to come back. Rest for just a moment, and do the same thing with your left knee and leg. Slide your left knee as long as you can, and then let it come back. And again, leave this alone and let yourself rest. And again, go ahead and put both of your arms up on the ground, backs of your hands on the floor, bend both of your knees, have your feet flat on the floor, now gently touch your knees together and have your feet spread fairly far apart. And begin sliding your right knee away from your center as if you're trying to lengthen it away from the center of your body and then allow it to come back. Sliding your right knee away, keeping your foot flat down on the floor and then allowing your knee to come back. Rest briefly and do the same with your left knee pushing your, and sliding your left knee as far away from the center as you can and then allowing it to come back towards the center of your body. And then after a few times begin alternating with both legs, the right and the left and the right and the left and then leave this alone and let yourself rest. And then again, extend both of your arms up above your head, put the backs of your hands on the floor, spread your feet and your arms widely, uh, comfortably wide, stand your right foot and extend your left leg out to the side, roll it towards its outside edge, and begin to move your pelvis in a way that your left leg can get as long as you can, and then allow it to shorten towards the center of your body. Lengthen that left leg as long as you can, and then let it come back. And go a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And then change over your legs. And do the same. Lengthen your whole entire right leg as long as you can, and then allow it to come back easy. And do the same thing, a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And is this movement easier than it was in the previous lesson and throughout this lesson? Is it simpler? Does your pelvis move more comfortably? Enjoy this reminder move. I look forward to catching up with you again. We'll talk to you soon. Have fun.